right, it is two o'clock my time. I know most most of my followers and most everybody is in central or eastern time. So it's a little bit later for you, but it's two o'clock here. So we're gonna get started. So thank you for joining us today. I uh, know we're all so busy and taking the time to attend this workshop means that you're ready to focus on your business and getting it to a six figure paycheck. So I'm Christine McDade and I'm owner of CMG Marketing. And today I wanted to chat about my path to six figures and how you can plan your path and give you tangible tools and resources to help you get there. So I'm not claiming to have all of the answers, but I am going to share the exact steps and tools that I took to grow my business. So these tools and resources I'm going to share today can be used for any business. So I know a lot of you joining me today are from Plexus, and these will definitely help you with that, but also how to lean into your gifts to broaden your prospect list and offer value to a larger group of people. So are you ready to plan your path to six figures? Type a one in the chat if you're on the Zoom or um, or in the com in the comments if you're on live um, and you are ready. All right, Tina, that's great. Julie, awesome. I see Becca on, on uh, live. Thank you for joining us today. All right, so let's talk about the four myths of time management. I mean, that's such a buzzword talking about managing our time, right? So let's talk about the four myths of time management. So the first one is you need to manage your time. So you're trying to manage your time instead of doing the six figure activities that you should be focused on. Um, so you're probably thinking what are six figure activities and we will get into that later in this um, webinar. Uh, so another myth is you don't have enough time. So you think you don't have enough time, but really you have too many distractions and so you're not using your time to be focused on the things that you need to be focused on to build your business. So we get distracted with emails, text, kids, you know, all the things. You're too busy. This myth is a myth because all you have to do instead of managing your time is make a decision to do your SFAs, your six figure activities, which I'll describe in a little bit, and then commit to it. So when you make a decision to commit to something, it becomes reality and not just a suggestion. This is a big one. So time management is the cure. So if I could just manage my time, then I could be successful. So time is like water and you can't manage water just like you can't manage time. If we think about big ships in the ocean, they can't manage the sea, right? There's waves, there's storms. The only thing they can do is navigate. So we can't manage time, we can't manage water. And sometimes people get stuck in trying to manage the time and then they don't do the activities that they need to build their business and emergencies come up, they, you get interrupted and then um, our ship sinks, right? So really uh, the only thing that you need to do to get better at focusing on your six figure activities um, the reality is it's not managing time. The reality is that we're distracted. So if you get good at managing your distractions, you'll be able to hit your six figure income. So the top five distractions, and think of these as icebergs, okay? So these distractions come in while we're trying to focus on building our business. These distractions come in and knock us off course, right? So other people's priorities. Someone is always needing something from us. I don't know if you're a mother like I am, but like people always want something from us, right? Running errands, doing all of the things. And of course our children should be priority, but we need to focus on what really needs to get done. Non-emergencies, um, for me, I don't know about for you, but for me, like everything is an emergency. Like if somebody needs something now, that's an emergency, but really they're, they're not huge emergencies. They're little things like DMs and um, all those little things. So shutting off things 
that will help you not be distracted from them. Now, shiny object syndrome. Now I'm gonna say this lightly because you're here watching this webinar and I'm thankful for that. And this is the training that I'm so thankful that you're here and I can't wait to share with you more. But what happens is we see a new training or we see a new way of doing things and we get distracted from building our business. So we're going in this direction and then we see this new training, this new way of doing things, this new onboarding, this new thing. And we take time over here and we learn it. And then we start to implement that. And then we see another training and another way of doing things. And so we get distracted from our six figure activities. Procrastination. So this is a big one for me and for a lot of people. And I think we just kind of put things off, especially if it's something that for me, if it's something that I'm not really good at or that I have to learn, I'll put it off. Whereas I can make graphics all day long because that's what I love to do. So just give me some graphics to make and I'll do that all day. But if I have to build something on the back end or do something like that, I'm going to put that off. So procrastination becomes a distraction. So we need to do those things that are hard first. This is what I found. Do the hard things first and then everything else will be easy. And then saying yes. I am the queen of saying yes. I say yes to everything, but the issue is um, you say yes to too many things and they become distractions and they take you away from your business. So which of these numbers here, one through five, would you say is your top distraction? Put that um, in the chat or in the comments and um, let me know which one is your biggest distraction. Okay, so what is the secret to getting more done? It's self-management and not time management. So self-management is about finding the self-control and mastery needed to take control of your work. So how can we get that, you know, self-management? So we will get into that in just one second, but first let me just tell you a little bit about my story and about how I built my business. So I was a sign language interpreter for 30 years. And when the pandemic hit, everything moved online and we were working from home and I started to get burnt out on interpreting. Um, as an interpreter, you're really just a middle person of relaying the information and you have no say or no input, your creativity. You don't get to put anything into the situation. You're just, you show up, you do your job and, and that's it. So, I started to get burn, burned out and not being fulfilled with that. And one thing I really enjoyed um, was making graphics. And so I started making graphics for my team in Plexus. And like I said, if I could make graphics all day long, I would be happy. And my husband said something to me that really stuck with me. He said, you need to lean into your talent. And so I started to think, well, maybe I could make this talent a business. So I started a free Facebook group and um, I was giving away graphics. I built it up to 5,000 people and uh, I made a newsletter and my friend said, my friend and teammate said, I'll give you $10 for your newsletter. And I said, okay, all right, that sounds good. And then more people wanted my newsletter. And then I thought, well, I could offer a lot more for $10. And then it just, that's how it all happened. And then later, I um, added virtual assistant services, social media services, websites, and now I have a whole marketing system and marketing team. So I was able to retire from interpreting um, after a couple of years. I hit six figures in eight months, and now I build my business through this system that I have, my software, social media, through my reputation, word of mouth, and um, all of that. So who is ready to learn the steps? Put a one in the chat if you're ready to learn these steps that you can use for yourself. Because like I said, I use these steps for me, but they will apply for any business. Okay, so your self-management plan. So first, we, we had talked about um, time management and all of that, and we need to learn to manage ourselves, right? So these are the steps that I took. First of all, what is your gift? So I'm actually going to give you a worksheet that will help you narrow this down. But when we say think of your gift, it it also goes along with your niche, right? So, um, or you know what you have to offer people. 
what do you have that they need? What's your skill? What's your gift? Um, so figure that out. And then choose a platform that you're going to share your gift on. Is it Facebook, Instagram, TikTok? And then give high value. So what, what we have, what we know our gift is, what value can we give to people? So give them content, start a free group, give away, give things away, guides, um, something that they need to solve their problem. And then charge a win-win price for your products or services. So we really want to give high value, but at a reasonable cost, right? So when I set my $10 a month group, there were a lot of people that said, I should charge a lot more, like $10 is not enough. That is so much content. You need to be charging so much more. But at the same token, there were an equal amount of people that were saying $10 is too much. So you really have to find that sweet spot. Now, I know if a lot of you are Plexus people and you're thinking, well, Plexus sets their prices, I can't you know, do anything about that. But what else can you offer? Can you offer coaching? Can you offer you know, a gut health guide? Something that you can offer, maybe just even samples that will be at that lower price where you get people in. And then provide excellent customer service. So once you have these, these customers, are you helping them continue solving their problems? Make sure that you're taking care of your customers and have a customer care system. When I first started my business, and even now, I do Zooms all the time trying to help people navigate, use the tools that I have for them, um, make sure that they know what they're doing and they have all the help they need, especially my VA clients now. I want them to feel like they're my only client, you know. And then build a team to help you succeed. So of course, in the beginning, we're all solopreneurs and we do everything ourselves. But there comes a point when you really grow your business, you will max out at your own ability to build your business because you only have so much capacity, right? So um, learning to delegate and um, getting a team around you that can help and do those things that maybe aren't the, the six-figure activities that are helping you build your business those little things that, you know, aren't the funnest that we want to hand off to other people. And then this leads to getting tools to grow and monetize your business. So we all need these tools to help us succeed. So is it a system where you collect their emails and you, you know, use your customer care in a system, something to um, set up your subscription if you're going to have that, if you're going to sell your products, um, build in the workflows, all of those things. So get a system and the tools to help you do that. Are people going to book on your calendar? Where are they going to do that? You know. So how many of you are solopreneurs and do everything on your own? Put a one in the comments if you're a solopreneur. Which probably, you know, most people are doing it all on their own at this point. Well, we're getting to the six figures. Okay, so reaching six figures is not all about the money, of course. It's about what the money can provide. Will it allow you to give more? Will it allow you to spend more time with your children? Will it you know, allow you to worry less about the day-to-day, -day, the bills, and just be healthier because you're not worried so much? Um, like I said, I was a sign language interpreter for 30 years, and in the process of you know being the middle person, in the conversation, not really having a say, I just wasn't not for, not fulfilled. And now that I'm helping entrepreneurs build their business and helping women succeed, that that is absolutely fulfilling to me. So what would, if you don't mind answering, uh, what would being a six-figure earner allow you to do? Type that in the chat or in the comments of the live. Okay, so what are six figure activities? So these are different from income producing activities. So income producing activities are kind of your day to day things, your reach outs, the nitty gritty of, of what needs to get done every day. And the six figure activities are bigger picture, your overall plan of providing value, attracting the right customers, and ultimately growing your business. So what does that look like? So one, we want to attract the customers and the buyers that you want 
to buy from you. So who is your ideal client? We call that in marketing your avatar. So who is this person that you're targeting, that you're you're looking for, that you want to attract? So you have this person in mind on every part of your content. If you're giving away a guide, if you're posting, if you're doing a reel, just you want this person in your mind when you're giving them value. And so I'm just reading some of these um, answers here, time freedom, um, pay off debt. I, I love that. Thank you for sharing those. All right. And then step two is educate, you know, use educational marketing to establish your expertise in this gift that you have to offer people. So you're going to put out a lot of information about what you have, what you can offer them, and you're going to use that to educate and show your expertise to your audience. Uh, step three is you'll provide solutions that solve their problems. So if, for example, your gift is gardening, what problems can you solve for people? You know, is it weeds? Is it growing your corn knee high by 4th of July? What, what problem can you solve for them? And just always be thinking about wanting to solve problems for your audience and for your customers. Then once you have customers coming in, you want to manage the customer. So you have to have some type of customer care system where you're taking care of your customers and providing good customer service. For me, like I said before, this was huge. I want, I always want to take good care of my customers and um, want them to feel like they're appreciated and, and that I give them value continue, even after they're my customer. Um, step five, offer um, a higher value uh, solution. So, I mean, you can't call this like the upsell, but like if you got somebody in with some samples, then of course you would want to get them in to get a whole package, you know, a whole um, bundle. If you got them in with, you know, a guide, then you can sell them, you know, a bigger book or whatever it is that you're starting to sell. And then step six is have a delegation system. So it's not all on you. We kind of talked about this before, but we want you to focus on your IPs and your SFAs every day. So the little tasks that can be delegated um, should be delegated. And then lastly is your brand building or establishing your reputation of value. Um, so always having that in mind that you're establishing a reputation for yourself. So Back to the gardening example, we want people when they think about gardening to think, okay, if your name's Sally, we want them to go, oh, Sally posts good stuff about that. I'm gonna go over there and try to, you know, see what Sally has to offer so that we are become that person that people want to come to for that thing, whatever your gift is. So these are my, these are my six figure activities that I used. And we can kind of see on the right here, the, um, the seven steps that we just talked about. And these are the steps that I took to build my business. And so I created a free Facebook group. And this is really, a, we have helped a lot of brands do it this way. Creating a free group based on your gift and then what you're offering people and giving, giving things away and then building that um, reputation and that, relationship with these people who then eventually will buy. Um, so I gave away uh, free high quality graphics. I made the low ticket item, which was the $10 system. And then I had the subscription model. I um, gave away a free membership to an influencer who then told everybody else about what I had. That was super helpful in growing my business. I added more high quality content. So, you know, I, I started with a newsletter and now we provide, you know, so many uh, events every month. We provide guides and opt-ins and we really try to provide more value. Um, and then I hired my first team member, Steph, who is still here. She's still my right-hand girl. Uh, and then I created my second high quality product, which at that time was the brand kit. So that was like my first thing. And then I expanded my services to provide VA services, websites, social media marketing, and started offering the marketing system, the platform, or the software that I use. I now um, have that as well. 
And then I hired more team members. I now have six all together, six uh, members of my team, which is insane. And they're all amazing and wonderful. And then uh, I started weekly webinars, like you're seeing now, <laughs> that brought you here. And um, Facebook and Google ads to market my business even, even further. So the six-figure journal, um, I'm super excited about sharing this with you. I forgot I was going to um, put one of these a little closer so we could see it better, but you're going to get this um, in your email. If you registered for this event, uh, th this will be um, in your email shortly after this is over. But if we can, um, let's see if I can, I wish I could zoom in a little, can I? No. Okay, well, hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over here because I can't see it in front of me. I have to look over here. But um, the gift and talent, the gift and talents assessment sheet, these are some great questions that it's going to ask you to help you figure out what your gift is. So what are abilities or activities that come easy to you? You know, for example, numbers, words, teaching, strategy, what, what comes easy to you? And then what do you love so much that you would do for free, that you would do it every day if you could? So these are just some examples of some of the questions that are on here. And then we have the six figure assessment sheet, which will help you figure out what are your six figure activities that you should be doing to get to six figures. Um, so I'm excited about sharing this with you um, after this call. So um, CMG, we do have some of these tools to help you build your business. We have um, the Marketing Suite Success System, which is um, our marketing tool that I started out with three years ago when I had my first subscription and the system that I've used to uh, market my business. But it has everything you need. It has email marketing funnels. Um, you can give away guides. You can sell products. You can have subscriptions, um, websites. Um, you have Google and Facebook ads, customer care workflows. And if you are with Plexus, I have a lot of this already built in that you, you can just start using. Um, social media posting and scheduling is in there and it will replace things like Jotform, Calendly, Squarespace, MailChimp, Project Broadcast. And they recently added a new feature that's so cool. It's just like ManyChat. I don't know if any of you have heard of ManyChat. But basically, you make a post in Instagram, and if somebody comments a keyword, it will reply to them automatically, and then it will send them a DM automatically. So you don't have to do anything. It's really cool. And maybe some of you found me that way here today because I did a post, and I said, comment live, and then it automatically replied, automatically sent you a form to fill out to get in here. And everything that, that you've gotten from here has come from the system. And then uh, social media management, so we can create the posts, respond to DMs, grow your Instagram, create a free Facebook group, get people in there. Um, we are you know, really good at getting people into your Facebook group and growing it. And then we have our virtual assistant services that basically can do anything you would ever want. Um, if you do get this system, they can do anything in there. They can work in any system, but um, it's nice if you do get the uh, marketing suite success, then we can run everything in there and make your guides, get them all going, get the funnels, all the things, um, and build websites. And then we also have our 599 uh, website that we can build, you know, a full website with optimizing um, SEO, storefronts, booking links, all the things. Okay, so. My next event, so all of this today has been great and I love sharing this with you. And I'm so um, excited and I see that people can't wait to try things. I know Allison is already using the system and loving it. She's using all the things. I'm so excited about that. And um, Becca is gonna get her website later this month. That's exciting. And Jimmy, I, we're going to chat tomorrow and hopefully get her started on some of these things. And Ebony, I would love to get you started over here. Um, 
and then I will definitely get that to you. Um, okay, so I just want to check my chat there because I felt like I was neglecting it. That's just like multitasking, right? <laughs> okay, so um, my next, like I was saying, I love to share everything and in, in my story and all of that, but you know, talking about myself is not my favorite thing, you know, but talking about Canva is my favorite thing. So I'm super excited about my next event, which is in a couple of weeks. I had the date, but now I forgot, but it's my next event. You'll hear all about it, but it's how to build a brand kit in Canva. I'm so excited about sharing this because I'm going to talk about how to make a logo, for example, that not everybody else has because everybody is building their logos in Canva but I have some tricks about how to make a special um, a special logo so that not it's something different, you know, and then how to do your brand colors and how to get everything all situated in Canva so that all of your content looks seamless and cohesive and all of that. So I'm excited about uh, that event next. And um, thank you for coming. I appreciate the, all everybody that watched live. I do see quite a few people on live and thank you so much for everybody that attended today here. And um, thank you.